everyone wakes up to the same sun, but many wake up to different possibilities. Each year, 100 million people are pushed to poverty because of ill health, especially in countries where people need to pay directly to health care providers. This is termed out-of-pocket expenditure. When households spend a substantial part of their income on health, the results are catastrophic. The World Health Organization estimates that about 150 million people around the world face catastrophic health expenditure every year. In countries with high out-of-pocket health expenditure, health costs push many entire families into poverty, all because one member got sick. In many instances, High out-of-pocket expenditure is a result of low government spending on health. But in countries with universal health coverage, the risk of catastrophic health expenditure and the resulting impoverishment is low. Now, many governments are increasing their commitment to universal coverage. A commitment to universal coverage means, in practical terms, ladies and gentlemen, that all people within a country should receive some degree of financial protection from the cost of at least some basic health services. This means, in ethical terms, that no one in need of health care, whether curative or preventive, should risk financial ruins as a result of paying for this care. The World Health Report 2010 suggests three strategies to attain universal coverage. They are raise sufficient funds for health through prepayment financing mechanisms, reduce heavy reliance in out-of-pocket payment, and improve efficiency and cut waste. To get closer to universal coverage, the country would need to extend coverage to more people, offer more and quality health services, and pay a greater part of health care costs. Countries in the Asia-Pacific region adopted region-specific health financing strategies to support universal coverage. Mongolia is a very specific country because it's the large land and small population. Our health financing system is mixed with uh, budget and uh, social health insurance. Uh, it means uh, in all Mongolian citizens can access uh, free of charge for primary health care system. Like Mongolia, many countries in the region mobilize funds through taxation to provide primary health care and coverage. China is just pushed forward a new rural cooperative medical scheme. Nowadays, it's already the coverage rate, it already reached about 90% of the whole China rural population. China has achieved a breakthrough in its basic health insurance program by increasing central and local government subsidies to rural populations. Along with coverage, ensuring access to quality health care is an important policy objective. Cambodia's Health Equity Fund is designed to strengthen the safety net for the poor by paying for their health care and providing transportation and food subsidies. Health Equity Fund is the uh, pro uh, health financing strategies. The main objective of the Equity Fund is to reduce the, um, uh, the uh, financials better access to the health services, uh, in particular by, by the poor. The equity fund has covered around 70% of the, of the people who, who are living under the national poverty line. Health insurance is another prepayment financing option to raise additional funds and reduce out-of-pocket payments by pooling both risks and funds. When people are sick, and when they are seeking care and they have to pay for health care, so they might be put into insecure situation because they are facing double burdens. They are losing health and losing money. Insurance you know, can pay for health care costs. Community-based health insurance supplements health care coverage and helps to reduce financial barriers. Community-based health insurance is allowed is uh, organized in now in uh, currently in 23 districts 
with uh, 11 district is the uh, out of that is uh, rural district. Efficient use of scarce resources is equally as important as raising funds for health. WHO estimates that between 20 and 40 percent of all health spending is wasted through inefficiencies. Those inefficiencies include irrational use of medicine, overuse of diagnostic services and medical equipment, and inappropriate hospital admission and length of stay. Irrational use of medicine is also a problem. In some countries, medicine accounts for 65 percent of hospital expenditure or 40 percent of total health expenditure. These are examples of ways to reduce inefficiencies, to get more money for health and more health for the money. Universal health coverage cannot be achieved in isolation since health is linked with other social determinants such as education and income. The Conditional Cash Transfer Program, or the Panta with Familia, is implemented by giving conditional cash grants to the poor, provided that they follow the conditions on health and education. By investing on in health and education, the program aims to improve the quality of life of beneficiaries. At least 85% yung attendance ng bata sa school, tapos uh, may monthly na check-up sa health center. So yung kaganda lang, ma-uobliga ma ma yung mga parent. Universal coverage is an admirable goal, and homegrown health financing policies and actions make the difference. In fact, no country starts from scratch when it comes to financing health care. All have some form of system in place and must build on it according to their values, constraints, and opportunities. Devising and implementing health financing policy is a process of continuous adaptation. Health financing must adapt, not just because there is always room for improvement, but also because society is in constant evolution. Universal health care coverage is a vital for a country's economic growth, vital for a country's security, and vital for a country's social solidarity. There is no magic pill to achieve universal coverage. But once governments are committed, countries can raise sufficient funds for health, move away from out-of-pocket payment, and build more efficient and equitable health financing systems that support universal coverage. Then, people will realize that universal coverage is not just a dream. It is a realistic goal. Each new day offers new hope. With universal health coverage, people can wake up to a better day, healthier, productive, and financially secure.